Hi, welcome to the end of week one. This is the first of 10 Friday wrap-ups. I'll be doing these short little videos going over what happened this week and what you need to think about in the coming weeks. And so this week we're going to talk about two things. One, Piazza, and the second one, your e-portfolio. Piazza, if you don't know what it is, um, Take a look at uh, the course website on Canvas. Look on the left-hand nav. You'll see a link to Piazza. It is our communications hub. The fastest response, if you want a quick response to any question you have, post it on Piazza and you'll get it immediately. It'll, our current turnaround time is about seven minutes. So um, the, if you send me an email via the Canvas emailing system, their mobile app is terrible, and that means I can only answer if I'm at a computer which means it's going to take a little bit longer to get a response. So I don't get these immediate updates that I get from Piazza. So Piazza, 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 um, you won't be sorry. The second thing I want you to think about is to make sure you've created your ePortfolio. And um, there's information in module one about what the ePortfolio is and how to create one. The important thing about the ePortfolio is that you will need to create it this week in order to be able to accomplish your first task that is associated with your library um, project. The library project, as you know, is in lieu of a midterm. So it's a pretty important document that you want to keep working on. The first assignment is due April 9th. You can finish it earlier than that, but you want to keep up on that. And you want, in order to keep up with that, and for, in order for your TAs to be able to monitor your progress and assess the fact that you actually completed a task by the due date, you need to be able to tell them where your ePortfolio is. And for that purpose, in this email, you'll have a link to a Google form where we want you to both paste a link to your ePortfolio with your name, so we know that that link goes with you. Um, if this makes no sense, it's time for you to go back to module one and look at the instructions on how to create an ePortfolio. Right. So if none of what I talked about today mean, makes any sense, that means that you definitely need to go over module one and read through all the instructions to all the elements that this course is going to require you um, perform well in. And if you haven't taken the practice quiz, you want to hurry up and take it because that, again, it counts for no points, but it's going to be really important for you to know how to sort of navigate the practice quizzes, or at least navigate the quizzes. Forget the practice quiz. Do the practice quiz so you get an A in the quizzes. All right. Um, well, that's it for the Friday wrap-up, except for the most important part of the Friday wrap-up, which is to remember to breathe. This is going to be a busy quarter, and it's going to be a really different quarter if this is your first online class. And when things go wonky, as they inevitably do in face-to-face -face or online, the important thing is to remember to breathe. And the second thing is post it to Piazza. All right? Have a great weekend.